but it's the off-roading vehicles that destroyed that section completely because let me show you what one of these looks like it's unbelievable all right so this is part two i could not get back to the second crater field in my last video uh because I was just out of breath, I was out of water, I was out of everything. This time I brought a, a friend with me. So we're gonna head to the other side of this landfill and see if we can't find this other crater field. Now, the significance of the other crater field is it had roughly 400 craters in it. Uh, this is where they practiced using the rover uh, is on this other crater field. So that's a pretty cool spot. And then they also, uh, had the uh, I believe it was CBS News came here around 1968 to film the astronauts training here because they weren't sure if they were going to be able to get the footage of Apollo 11 when they actually got to the moon so they call it like a historical time that the news networks came here and set up uh, to watch the uh, the astronauts train so just in case they couldn't get that footage they would have it Stay tuned. All right, so we're up here today. Now it's gonna be 103 degrees in the valley, but up here it's supposed to only be 81. But I'm telling you, this walk that we're on right now, I already feel it. And uh, we got a little ways to go still. So uh, bring yourself plenty of water and bring yourself a friend with you just in case. We're seeing a lot of huge animal tracks out here. Huge. All right. We've been walking, I mean, how, what time do you think? How many, do you think we've done this for almost an hour? What time? Yeah, just about, almost all right. about, about so 50 we, minutes. We parked where they parked all the off-roading vehicles when we came in, which is pretty much the beginning of the trail. And we, uh, we're we walking out to this, again, crater field number two that they put down in 1968 uh, that I couldn't get to last time. But, uh, woo! It's, uh, we've been walking almost an hour straight and uh, we got a little ways to go before we reach this field uh, coming in the direction we did. I looked at all the other spots, all the other ways to get through here, but uh, it wasn't feasible. A lot of private property, but you can see the fence line. You just follow the fence line to the dump and uh, you're gonna come out to this crater field. They say that there's a, um, they say that there's a little pole with a chain around this field, which they should have uh, to try to protect it. But really it should be around the other section because this one here is very remote, very remote. All right, after walking for 60 minutes, we're on the other side of the fence. I don't know if you can see it from uh, this video yet, but there is a clearing straight ahead. And that folks, is where crater field number two is supposed to be but uh actually a beautiful view of the mountains here and then all the trash back here but uh we made it to the other side again if you park in the main parking area just expect to walk through this volcanic rock for a good 60 minutes to get back to this site right here all right i'm excited all right so we made it out here to this crater field again a quick review this is where I believe CBS came out and filmed when they created this second crater field, which is south of the first crater field on the other side of the landfill. A good, whew, a good 60 minute walk. They, uh, the TV cameras were set up out here and they filmed the astronauts training in this very location just in case they could not get the footage of Neil Armstrong or any of the astronauts. So they came and did it so they could show the, the public, you know, what it was supposed to look like. And then they created this field with over 400 craters to use the rover, to drive the rover in and out of these craters. I will say this, I am so happy. I don't know if you can see this fence line right here. 
but they have fenced this whole area off to protect it. I took a picture of the sign. Uh, it's a very small sign, but they have very big signs that say no off-roading vehicles allowed on the other side of this fence. It doesn't say no people authorized on this side of the fence at all. It just says no motorized vehicles. So we might try to get closer, but these, uh, these, uh, these craters are so much bigger, guys. So much bigger. Uh, and I think the drone footage came out so much better than Crater Field 1 that I did. But uh, here's, here's one of those signs. Let me, uh, let me show you one of those signs. Here's the first sign. So you have these signs, but again, it doesn't state. It says close to all motorized vehicles. Even this sign has nothing to do with people uh, coming inside of the fence line. It's just telling you about the training ground. And it says in here, if you look here, during the late 1960s and 70s, the area behind this fence was used to train astronauts for the Apollo space program. The reason I'm showing this for so long is on my last video, I had so many comments that people tell me I didn't know what I was talking about. The astronauts never trained out here. They wanted some kind of uh, article or something from NASA showing it. So here you are, folks. All those people who are going to watch the next episode right here. So I won't have to have any of those comments down below that I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, they say that this is uh, this is the only remaining astronaut training field, it's a training area. Please help us protect this important part of American history. That's not really true, because they have a crater field one that I just filmed, and they have just as many craters remaining over there. But this is definitely better preserved because all those off roaders aren't out here. They're stopped. Fence line goes all the way to the tree line. that it's not people going down in there because there's no reason for somebody to go down in this area. But this is just, this is well preserved. This is what I expected from the other crater field, but uh, this is definitely worth the drive out here. This is unbelievable. This area, thank you to the Park Service. I'm gonna just say that right now. Uh, thank you for coming out here and putting this fence up out here. Putting these signs so these off-roading vehicles cannot get through here. Um, to preserve the only site that's left from the Apollo mission training areas. They simulated the moon out here. Uh, they, they practiced in the rover right out here. That was the main purpose, again, of this area. Um, 
And the news media was at this site filming prior to them leaving on Apollo 11 mission. This place is great. If you come out here again, bring plenty of water, some Gatorade, something to drink, bring somebody with you.